Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure application pool uh, for IIS 7.0. If you have IIS 7.0 or 6.0, you need to configure application pool for correct .NET version. Um, but uh, if you have higher version than IIS uh, uh, 6 and 7, then you don't need to configure. Uh, it's already configured. In my case, it's already configured, but I'm going to go through the steps anyway for 7.0 and 6.0. Oh, if you have uh, IIS running 7.0 or 6.0, you can follow the same steps and configure your application pool for .NET Framework 4 and higher. So let's go and do it. Here's my um, uh, IIS manager, and here are the services that I have uh, created. Um, if you hear the, I'm sorry, not the services, the uh, website up here. Uh, as website um, services on IIS uh, for Microsoft Dynamics AX. If you click on application pool and look for the services Microsoft Dynamics AX AIF 60, the, this is the services that uh, this is the application pool that we're uh, actually con more concerned about. So we're going to go ahead and right click, or you can just click and click on basic settings. And uh, here, uh, the .NET CLR version um, in 7.0 or uh, 6.0, there would be a different version, but you need to have C .NET Framework 4.0 or uh, 3.0 or higher installed on your machine. And if you do, then you can uh, click on this drop-down menu and you can change the .NET CLR version. Uh, uh, it needs to be 4.0, uh, 0.3, whenever um, it's above uh, 4.0. So we need to leave this on. As I said, that uh, in my environment, it's already configured. But uh, if you're running IIS uh, 7.0 or 6.0, it might not be configured. The CLR version, uh, not the right version, uh, uh, .NET uh, framework. So we're going to go ahead and uh, choose that uh, from here, uh, the correct version, which is 4.0 if you have a 7.0 or 6.0 IIS. So uh, manage pipeline mode is good. We're, we're, it's uh, in integrated because uh, we were integrating with the Microsoft Dynamics AX and um, you have an option to start application pool immediately. Application, application pool or um, the website needs to be restarted. Uh, the IIS needs to be restarted after you do this. So m basically this is exactly what you do and uh, you click OK and it's going to restart this, the uh, application pool and if you click on that and you can see up here that is a uh, 4.0 right here so what we're going to do is um, uh, click on this and uh, click on uh, uh, browse so um, or you can right click and uh, uh, manage application up here and browse Basically, that's it, uh, how you configure uh, application pool IIS 7.0 or associated with Microsoft Dynamics AX 12.0. Uh uh, 12, 2012 web services. So if you have uh, a 6.0 or 7.0, you need to go through these points. But uh, if you have a higher version, then you don't need to go through this point. It's already configured. Make sure that uh, you browse the website and it's working correctly. I hope it helps.